where are you originally from and what's it like there? Um, so growing up, uh, I moved between a lot of places as a kid. Uh, I was born in Greensboro, but pretty quickly moved with my mom up to New York and was around there for a bit. And then my dad, um, he was in Atlanta, so I'd go back and forth. And then he moved to New York, so I moved to, with him. And then my mom moved to North Carolina. And then I moved to her. So this is when I hit like middle school. And then from there, I was uh, in a town called Fuquay Varina, which is like, you, no one's heard of it. No yeah, no, no one's heard of it. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere, dude. And, uh, but it's in North Carolina, right? It's just like very, what you'd expect of a town like that in like the early 2000s, like super like hillbilly white, like kind of backcountry, hella tobacco farms. And uh, it, it was like, it was a character building experience. I mean, like, what are some of, like, the experiences you had out there specifically? So out there, it was like, um, I mean, there wasn't a lot of black kids or, like, kids of color in general back when I was there. I think now it's flipped because of, like, reverse gentrification, right? But um, it was uh, because I didn't quite, like, fit in with, like, the stereotype of what they wanted black people to be. It was a bit difficult, and um, I got some shit for it. So I tended to lean more towards, like, the people who were, like, back then, what I guess you'd call the, the scene community and all that stuff, and um, for, like fringing on almost the skateboard community. And uh, kind of found like a little refuge in that, and that's when I got like into music like uh, Alisana and Asking Alexandria and stuff like that. But uh, eventually we moved out to Raleigh, which is you know, the capital of North Carolina, a bit right. bigger, a bit more diverse. And so that's where I think I really, really kind of settled in and like found myself there. Because I don't think that like super scene, like punk stuff, like I fuck with it, but uh, it wasn't completely me, and what, what I found my place in more was like with skateboarding. I, like I went there, had a little crew, and it's like a, people of all colors and you know from all different backgrounds. You had black kids, Hispanic kids, white kids, and um, that's when we started listening to like you know like Odd Future and Wu Tang and all that stuff. And it was that was a lot easier to just kind of like settle in and be yourself. But definitely those first experiences, mm -hmm. like kind of being that like double outsider, like not just like oh, you're with these like kind of like outcast kids like who are in the scene shit, but also like you're black, so even they kind of treat you weird. That definitely set me up, I think, to have to overcome like a big self-esteem and like a ter internal, um, internal identity struggle that right. you know, if I hadn't beat it, I probably would be like some weirdo dude who's like trying as hard as he can to be like white or whatever. But because I did beat it, like it just made me really like a lot stronger, a lot more solid in my identity and like who I am.